quickly before we get into today's video, I just got an email notification for a package that's gonna be coming pretty soon. That is really cool and we'll be going to one of you guys. So if you're not subscribed, get subscribed now so that way you don't miss the giveaway. Now let's uh, teleport in time to earlier today. Okay, so in a recent video, you guys saw my dad and I put this water tank on our crimper, okay? Story, even though most of you guys have already heard the story, just in case you haven't, it's really quick, I'll go through it again. Anyways, last year we planted rye for the first time, organic rye, and we planted some soybeans into it just because someone told us that it might work. Okay, we then crimped the, so crimp the rye and then combined the soybeans and it worked fantastic. This is the same crimper that we used last year. Last year we rented it. This year we went to rent it again and the owner was like, what well, do you guys just want to buy it? And we're like, sure. So we bought it and then my dad went out earlier this past week and tried crimping the current rye and it did a terrible job. Like half of it ended up standing back up. So we don't know if we were just too early or what, what went wrong, but in our minds we're like, you add more weight, it has more downforce. So we put a 175 gallon water tank on it and uh, we're gonna try it out today. But here's the thing, right? We did our research before we added the water tank and everybody was saying adding weight does not help. But we did it anyway, so here we are. The only thing that has me kind of concerned though is that I drove the, the 4240 back from the field to here and I was already steering with my brakes. Now we're about to put 1,500 more pounds of water in the back of it, so we'll see how it goes. We're gonna be here for a little bit. I think she's full. Oh yeah, oh yeah, easy. Honestly, I was not expecting it to be like that. And before some of you guys start commenting, Carson, why don't you just fill the, the crimper itself full of water? It is. Oh, it keeps creaking so bad. Oh, this is an uphill road. can't see it, but every time I put a road gear, it, 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 the front end bounces like five or six times before it finally settles down. I'm alive, I made it. So as you can see, here's a rye, and this is kind of the section right here that we already crimped, and well, it's all kind of standing back up again. So I did do a little short little pass over here, in the end rows and I don't know I might just make it run up and down and see what happens I mean I don't know <laughs> like here it looks fantastic right it looks pretty dang good and then you come up here a little bit like what makes this stand but that not stand It makes no sense. All right, just got off the phone with my dad. He's on his way, so I'm gonna make a full round so we can look at it, and then uh, we'll see what he has to say about it. 
This makes such little sense. So I made two full rounds. Yeah. This round, gorgeous, almost the whole way, uh -huh. or this pass. And then there's that pass, which is just crap. At like eight and a half miles per hour. So then the first round, the first pass like seven. Okay. And then the rest of them have all been around eight and a half, nine. How many rounds have you made? Just two. Two full rounds. You try like five? I can try five. Let's experiment a little bit. Okay. I mean, it's better. Yeah, it is better. I mean, this is livable, I think. I mean, this might be a, uh, I mean, are we hurting the beans at all? I don't think so. They're looking rather parched. Yeah, it's, it's dry. It is very dry. We need rain bad. Let's experiment a little bit with it. All right. I, maybe I was going too fast. Well, on the internet they said you got to go faster. <laughs> do a better job. But... I was thinking, it seems like the ones that do the best job are the pull-behind units, not three-point. I'm wondering if it's because the tractor bounces so much and it's so side-to-side -side unstable. I think it's probably because those have smaller. This rule don't have these bigger rollers. They're a lot smaller than they call them. But yeah, I don't, I don't have an answer. I mean, what we're doing That's right now, there. that is, that is gorgeous. This is six miles. Alright, that's doable. A long time doable. Yeah, it's like 240 acres at 15 foot at... Here, I can just do the math. All right. If we go six miles per hour, we'll get done in 25 hours. You know how we were thinking about putting auto steer in this thing? I'm starting to think like not a bad idea. Yeah, so it's worth the time to get the 8410 over. I'm thinking with a three point of down, maybe we go faster though, but I can't I can't stand to drive this thing much faster. That is doing a a gorgeous job. Well, you're not doing the rest today, are you? Nope. Well, I am now, I think. good one anyways so here I am I think I got I don't know there's 30 20 30 acres done total but this thing is it's so weird because it has no correlation to do where you are in the field sometimes it'll do great sometimes it won't so at first I thought man the wheel tracks are really doing terrible and then I'll pass where I'm in the wheel tracks and it's perfect it's perfect 
And then the next pass, which is not in wheel tracks, like this pass, does crappy. So in an area like directly behind me here that did really good, like the crimper's obviously doing its job, like it's, it's crimping these things. But in an area like right here, it's not really crimping them, it's just kind of bending them over at the base. But why, why it, why it did such a good job here, but not there, makes no sense to me. Well, there we have it, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss this future giveaway that's gonna be coming up pretty soon. And I will see you in the next one.